Ahoy and welcome to this narrowboat adventure. So today we're going to be painting my bedroom and uh, I thought I'd try and be a bit more professional and let you know what I'm doing, what the steps are and all that stuff. First of all I've got to take down all the shelves so for that I've got a bunch of screws. As you can see I've already taken things off of the shelves. I've just noticed I have a shelf left to go of emptying things. Um, then after you do that you've got to take some dust sheet. I have this huge thick dust sheet left from when we painted the roof last summer. So I'm going to put dust sheet over all of the stuff on the bottom half of the room because I'm only painting the top half because the bottom half of our bedroom is just carpeted on the walls for insulation. So obviously not painting the carpet. Um, and then you're going to need duct tape, not duct tape, masking tape to stick over the fixtures and the fittings and to put on the uh, dust sheet with. Then I have got these sugar soap wipes. You don't have to use the wipes, but that's how I do it. So I'm gonna clean the walls once I've taken everything off the walls. Then I've got a couple of sanding blocks. I've used this type before, but they wear out quite quickly. We just got this type, which is a rubber one, and you can chop up the pieces of sanding paper to the right size and use them on here and I think this is really good and then of course you'll need scissors for chopping up the, so, uh, the sandpaper you'll need a good brush and of course paint and I think that's everything we need I'll let you know if anything else comes up should we get on with it then so this is the, the before picture really uh, as you can see, the paint that's currently there is this sort of grungy yellow. It's not very attractive. Um, and I've taken everything off the shelves, but there's uh, one shelf left to do. So get yourself a good playlist ready. Uh, I think music makes these sorts of jobs go so much faster. And I just literally took everything off the shelf and put it in a bag. Um, I did go through the bags as I unpacked them, but it was really useful to have each thing for each set of shelves in one place so that it wasn't like unpacking everything into all different places around the room. Uh, we did actually take, get rid of quite a few of these things so the bits of paper we're going to put into an album rather than just having them on a shelf and that will just give the objects that do live there more time to shine. Then of course, once the shelf was empty, I took down the shelf. and I also took down the fixings around it so we've got a uh, instrument holder
Uh, and then of course it came time to use the dust sheet. I just used masking tape to attach the dust sheet around the edges. And I just thought I'd show you this at the back of some of the fixtures and fittings in the boat there are gaps which are the serving ventilation and what I've done here is I've just uh, stapled some net at the back of this shelf so that the things don't fall down the back of the shelf I'd done that ages ago and I just thought this was a good time to share that then of course it's time to sand sanding down the walls is really important as it helps the paint uh, lock into it and it also just cleans them as well so you don't end up with any like dirt that will fall off later. Um, then of course opening the paint, giving it a bit of a mix and pouring it out. Uh, I used a hummus tub so that I didn't have to have this humongous paint open all the time and just refilled it. And then I just whack it on. For the first layer I'm not terribly fussy and to be honest not really even for the second layer am I terribly precious about how I go about doing the painting.
I decided for this room it might be fun to paint the window frames. So the window frames in the boat are currently brown. So I've put some dust sheet over the window itself and then uh, some masking tape all around the edges. And then I just go ahead and sand it down as I did the walls and then paint it a lovely green color just to add a pop of color. Now obviously this video wouldn't be complete without a before and after shot. So here we have the before. This is what we were working with. And of course, coming to after. We also put up this cat hammock that we've had since we got Squeak and we just couldn't figure out where to put it and then we figured it out and she loves it. So that is painting my bedroom.
you so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you would like to join us again, you can click subscribe and join us on another narrowboat adventure. If you would like to join us on Facebook, you can click uh, onto Facebook by searching this narrowboat adventure. And I want to say a big thank you to some of my patrons. I'd like to say a great big thank you to JC, Jenny, Mark and Ange, Richard, Michael and Roy. Thank you so much for being my patrons. I really truly appreciate you a lot. So thank you very much all of my lovely patrons and uh, if you would like to come again then please subscribe and thank you so much for watching. Bye!